know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm good, yes, I'm dead. Most of the things I don't wanna say. Hey you guys, welcome back to Taylor XO or welcome to Taylor XO if you are a new subscriber. So y'all, I know it's been a couple of days. Y'all know that I take my little breaks here and there and y'all know I always pop back up. And I had to pop back up because, you know, it was brought to my attention as I was watching Jazzy's Father's Day vlog that she just posted today because y'all know uh, on Father's Day, she had premiered her Mother's Day vlog, and a lot of people were confused, like, okay, well, where's the Father's Day vlog? Because y'all know that for Mother's Day, she didn't really seem to do much, and people were wondering, like, okay, well, where, the, where is the Mother's Day vlog? I mean, she did show her going to the meat market and them grilling up some meat for Mother's Day, but that's the usual that she always does. So people were confused because... Y'all know that when it comes to Chris, this girl always makes sure to have a perfect day plan for Chris and the holidays that come up, you know, his birthday, Father's Day, but yet sis can never get the same energy in return. So I was just really confused watching this Father's Day vlog because although she didn't take him out to this extravagant dinner or do something big, she still uh, went out of her way to spend quite a bit of money. And who knows if this... Um, thing had came from a pawn shop or wherever it came from y'all know that jazzy is famous for spending less as possible and if she does get things like iphones computers and things like that they're usually from pawn shops uh somewhere which where she can buy it really cheap and she doesn't have to pay out full price for it y'all know the girl rents furniture rents beds dressers rugs i mean anything you can think of so i know that she's not going to come out of pocket big money for iPhones, laptops, and game systems. So the vlog started and she put, I guess uh, she recorded this little clip of Legend and Chris. I guess this is when Chris had just woke up and he was hugging Legend, I guess, because it's Father's Day. And, you know, it always killed me when these fathers out here try to portray this, you know, father of the year type thing on these holidays, like uh, Father's Day and things like that and then they're not around for the whole rest of the year and then it's like for father's day they expect their children to you know do a big for them the mothers things like that and this man is not even around for the rest of the year i mean we never see him spend t quality time with legend you know we never really see him out with legend when jazzy is around i mean we never really see him do much with legend but you know come in give him a kiss here and there or you know come around and oh you know pick him up and do the little you know oh daddy you know type thing with legend and then after that you know you don't really see him deal with legend that much and even by the vibes that legend gives you can clearly tell that chris is not around much and he prefers to go to jazzy because he's around jazzy all the time and chris tries to say that legend is this daddy's boy and he's obsessed with his dad and Jazzy tries to portray that Legend is so in love with his father, which, you know, I mean, I'm sure she thinks that because the boy doesn't see him that much. So when he does come around, maybe he does gear more towards Chris. But like I said, personally, from what I see, uh, Legend doesn't really go around Chris that much unless Chris forces himself on him. And that's understandable because, like I said, you know, especially in the growing months, like when they're first born to the one year mark, it's important that, you know, you grow that bond with the baby, you know, before they get older, because obviously, you know, babies go to all they know, all who's around them and they know that or all who helps take care of them. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that Legend only knows Jazzy because Jazzy has been the only one that's done for him. And I will say that it's weird. You know, Chris doesn't seem to have a relationship with his other two boys and his daughter but you know i'm saying boys because it is kind of weird for a father just not to want nothing to do with his boys i mean y'all know that these men out here be screaming that they want boys 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 but then when they get them they don't even want to seem to be fathers to him so i'm just confused he has the, the twin boys legend and it just seems like you know i mean we know paris he has not made efforts in years to see her but you know specifically his boys 
he doesn't even have a relationship with them. So being that, you know, I, he doesn't seem to come around his two twins, I would think it's going to be the same thing for Legend. I don't know where Jazzy thinks that this is going to be some, you know, change, changed situation to where Chris puts more effort into Legend than all the rest of his kids. And he's going to suddenly be this involved, changed father, which we've already seen that he's not. So... I just had to give, you know, give that little input on that because I just find it so strange that she made it a point to, you know, post this little clip of or post this little clip in her vlog of Chris all hugged up with Legend knowing that the man doesn't even come around any other time, which that's on her. Let her live in her delusional land as always. But let's move on because what I specifically made this video for is because Jazzy showed this clip of Chris getting or Chris putting in this PS5 in the little TV sin that they have. And obviously, you know, I'm guessing she showed it because this was his Father's Day gift. And if he had it before, then she would have already showed that it's been there. But it clearly looked new. The wires definitely look new. So I'm just going to chalk it up to so Sis got him a PS5 for his uh, Father's Day gift. And I'm going to turn the audio off in this clip just because she added some terrible music that I just don't even want to play in this video. So let's get into this clip of her with uh, of uh, Chris putting away his new PS5 by Jazzy, y'all. Let's get into it. So as y'all saw in the video, not only did she gift him this PS5, but she made sure she made him a nice little plate to eat. Y'all know that on typical days, they never get sides, but I guess because this is Chris's day and it had to be perfect. And y'all know that Jazzy, how dare Jazzy uh, even think to just make Chris, you know, specifically just a meat and just call it a day. You know, Chris had to have the whole entire plate. He had to specifically have his green beans, his mac and cheese, you know, this big old slab of two things of, you know, meat and just make sure that it was all done up for Chris and I know that Chris usually does grow the meat. You know, he cannot stand to eat uh, Jazzy's cooking. I wouldn't be surprised if the man made the sides too. But uh, we know that Jazzy probably made the sides. And I guess since it's Father's Day, he probably just, all right, let me just eat our food because, you know, he probably won't hear the end of it. Who knows? But I just was so dumb. Not Well, y'all can say dumbfounded. I just, because I, I just got into this dumb mode for a minute because I just could not believe that this girl had the nerve to really post him putting away this PS5 in the TV stand. Like, sis, your kids don't have no clothes. You know, their hair's not done properly. Aiden's clothes are too small. They're like belly shirts on them at this point. You can't afford to get Aiden a proper haircut. You know, you're barely getting putting food in the house. You know, you've spent all summer so far sitting around not taking your kids anywhere. You know, all these things that you have going on and you're out here buying PS5s for Chris's Father's Day gifts. I mean, I, I, he doesn't even deserve not even a PS2, sis. I mean, the, the man is not nowhere near a father. He doesn't put in any work. He doesn't help with baths, help with feeding legend, help with getting dressed. Hell, he doesn't even go out and buy his son a couple outfits or, you know, give him a proper haircut. And you have the nerve to be buying this man an expensive old PS5 just for him to sit in there even more and be a bum and sit on the couch. I don't understand why a man at his age needs a PS5. I mean, everybody can say, oh, well, people have their days off. They have their downtime. But... At the end of the day, you know, this woman is living effed up, all types of effed up. He's living effed up, you know, and he shouldn't even have not even a second to be sitting on the couch playing any PS5 game. He should be out working, busting his butt, doing what he needs to do for his family. You know, he has four kids. I just don't understand where this man acts like it's just him and all he wants is his little toys and to have his little truck and not have to take care of any responsibilities at this point. And, you know, some people were saying that she thinks or that they think that uh, she bought him the PS5 so he could come back around. You know, who knows? Jazzy does these sick, twisted things to keep a man around in her home. And then even, if, even if it costs her thousands and thousands of dollars, she will do that. Uh, Y'all know how expensive the PS5 is. 
uh, I just find it weird that sis uh, specifically just made it a point to show him putting it in the TV stand. She didn't uh, make sure to say that this is specifically what she bought him, but she knew that people would get to talking and people would assume that this is what she bought him for Father's Day. And, you know, like I say, she's grown. That's her money. She's entitled to do what she wants with it. But sis, when you come on here and your kids look the way they do and you live the way you live and people have came out and said that they had to give you five hours for gas, had to buy you groceries, had to do all these things to help you because you're hurting for money over there. And you're out buying a man a PS5 when, like I said, he should be out working. There should be no time for a PS5. And even if you know, he does have some downtime that should be used to be spent with legend. It shouldn't be on a game system. And sis, even if you are buying any game system, game systems in that house, it should be for your children, not for a bum who treats you like crap, who beats you on the side of the road, who spits on you, who throws hot wax around your children's faces. Sis, are you crazy? Is this how far you're going to keep a man in your home? I mean, is this how far you're going and you will? Willingly show it every single time, not even caring that people are going to say these things about you being so hard up and desperate to keep a man in your home. You know, and it's just like she knows that people are going to say things about this. And even her subscribers, you know, like I say, her subs are buying her her kids clothes. You know, she created all these registries in the past. She's, you know, getting all these uh, sponsors, free stuff. I mean, like you're 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 getting free spots free sponsorships for your kids stuff but then you're going out and buying a man a ps5 now like i said i don't even care at this point uh if it's used i know she's a grown adult she can do what she wants but sis that is so pathetic you know the the cost of that ps5 could have been a night at an amusement park where you could have you know stayed the night in a different state and went to an amusement park you could have did something nice for the kids and then to top it all off sis the man doesn't do a goddamn thing for you what what gift did you come on here and show that he bought you for mother's day i mean specifically uh i know i usually premiere these so in the chat y'all comment down comment down below what this man supposedly bought her for mother's day because she didn't come on here and show that he bought her anything. In fact, she was showing off this bracelet trying to make it seem as though he bought her something. But the whole time, people had uh, pulled the video back up. I think it's specifically the Eric's. And this was a sponsor, a, a sponsor bracelet that somebody gave her years back in a, in a vlog. So, sis, why is it a flex? Why are you so pressed to come on here and show that you bought a man a PS5 when he can't even he can't even get you a Snickers bar or Reese's cup. He not even a single Reese's cup from jo Dollar Tree, sis. And you come on here proud every single time to show that you do and do and do for this this man and he does nothing in return for you. And you know, y'all know the dinner that he went out and got for Father's Day was all EBT funded. Those are those kids food stamps, not his, but you know, for birthdays, for Father's Day, Jazzy will go out and spend the whole damn uh, food stamp balance on just one day for something for Chris. As long as Chris is happy, as long as Chris is eating his meat and she's pleasing him and I guess she doesn't have to worry about getting beat on, then that's all she cares about. And you know what, sis, at this point, I think a lot of people are over it. If that's what you want to do, then go on right ahead. But just stop coming on here showing that stuff, especially when you seem to not even want to be bothered to buy your 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 kids Walmart outfits. You know, not even the even thrift store at this point, sis. It's just like it's so down bad that even thrift store just buy something for your children. Just you know, not subscriber bought, you bought. Okay. So I just, I honestly couldn't believe that she had the nerve to show it. I mean, I know some people will comment and say, who knows if it is, who knows if it's his or not? Who knows if he's uh, been had that or not? Uh, I know that we've previously never seen any PS5s in her vlogs. So I am I just had to ch chalk it up to this is something she bought him for Father's Day, being that she decided to show it right after uh, her showing him with Legend and showing the Father's Day plate. So moving forward in the vlog, because, you know, this is all expected of Jazzy. I don't want to spend too much time on stuff that we already know and expect from Jazzy at this point. 
you know, it's sad, but like I said, the kids are always put last and that's how it'll always be. So she went on to, this was basically a majority of the vlog that she vlogged, I guess, taking the kids to this museum type thing for them to play around with and, or play around in. And honestly, you know, I know people are always telling her, get new content, show the kids doing things as content, but even her showing the kids, y'all, honestly, it's just boring to me and it's just not something that is enjoyable. I think it's not just, it's it's not seeing the kids, it's just how she films it, how she goes out and she'll make the whole entire vlog just one certain thing instead of, you know, cutting different things and showing different things that they did. She just decides to make the whole entire thing the whole entire vlog and you would think being a vlogger for as long as she's been she would know that you know you just don't vlog one single thing that you're doing the whole entire vlog and just throw little teeny bits of other things in just to confuse people about what you're really doing so let's get into the clip of her at this museum and then we're gonna wrap this video up y'all yeah there's more stuff over here you want to go over here let's stay downstairs first and then we'll go upstairs what is that? It said it's a rope thrower. So, y'all, that was the clip of her taking the kids to the museum, and she just really didn't seem like she was into it. She just sounded like she was doing it for content. And she just wanted to get it over with so she could leave and just go home back to her, her boo that she's obsessed with, the bum. So, as usual, you know, Jazzy's never interested when it has to do with the four Davis, uh, the four Davis kids included. So, I just had to catch this shot at the end of the video because she proceeded to say that Chris had came home and cut the grass. But then she went on to say that they moved the tables when they cut the grass. So, I'm confused, sis. Did Chris come, did Chris come home and cut the grass or was it the people that, you know, y'all, you know, she usually calls people to cut the grass because Chris... It's so bummy, he just refuses to cut it, which, like, sis, how much more bummier of a man can you get? He doesn't even want to go out and just cut the grass, and it's a small-ass lawn, so I'm not understanding why he has such a big issue cutting the grass, but that was a little lie, or I don't know if she meant something else, but who's they? Who else will be they? And usually, like I said, she calls people, so... She started going on about how Chris came home and cut the grass. Anything to make it known that Chris did something. I mean, she always has to make it known that the man's doing something there, which says that's an everyday thing. Everybody's man's home cutting the grass when it needs to be cut. So why are you making this into like he just renovated the whole entire backyard? Uh, I don't know, y'all, but... I peeped that she had three grills in the backyard. Like, sis, what is this man back there doing with the grills? Is he eating them? Is he just breaking them every time he gets one? Why is your whole entire yard filled with grills? I don't, I don't understand. And, you know, y'all know that if Chris uh, gets his little grill broke, he probably throws a hissy fit. He's probably throwing the grill around the house. So I guess she has to run out and go get him new ones. But says, how do you have money to go out and get all these grills? But when it comes to your kids, you just never have it. But you always find a way, make a way for this man. Like, he's got all his three grills in the backyard. Now he's got his PS5 in there. He's got all his meat in the deep freezer. Like, what What does your kids get? What You know, what's made comfortable for your kids is always about getting this man grills. And at that, he has three whole grills right there. And she just got a sponsored uh, smoker for him, too. So that's now four to five grills that are sitting in the backyard. And if they are broke, sis, why can't the bum just go throw them away? Why does it always got to be you got to do it or another grown man's got to come and do his responsibilities for him? Like, just throw the girls out. The, the garage, it had boxes stacked up to the ceiling. He wouldn't throw out. Now he's got girls stacked up to the ceiling outside of, in the backyard, and he still don't want to do that. It's like, damn, you just do, 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 and he can never do nothing for you. You know, and that's how it's always going to be. The more she does for him, the less respect he's going to give her. The more he's going to treat her like shit. And she's just, you know, she'll never get nothing out of him. But sis, you made sure to do all this for this grown ass man who has no respect for you, beats on you, treats your children like crap and doesn't buy you not even a fake Dollar Tree rose. But you're in here getting them smokers and all these grills and deep, you know, deep freezer full of meat and buying them PS5s and making sure, you know, he's got his dinner cooked. But again, what does he do for you? You know that that's the real question because you do so much for him. 
you would think that he'd like to return the favor. And even, you know, he knows that you vlog, even get included in your channel and maybe take the take the vlog camera for the day and go, you know, vlog doing something for you like you do for him. It kills me how much this woman will, you know, just do, do, do for him. And, you know, she can never ask for anything back in return or never get anything from him. But whatever floats her boat, if she is content with just to keep doing for this man and he won't do nothing for her in return, I guess, you know, sis, whatever, whatever you want to take, if you, if you're fine with that, then I guess everybody else is fine with it. But comment down below what you think about this whole Father's Day vlog and her buying this man a PS5. I'm sure none of y'all are surprised. I'm sure y'all are tired of hearing about it, but I just had to post it because I'm just so confused on why she would even show that after people come at her day in and day out about not doing a damn thing for her kids. But again, comment down below what y'all think. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for another one. Tell me what you're me. Gotta be something different.